Welcome to Colmsden Farm. <laughs> so I was going to make this a time lapse series because I didn't really have much to talk about, but I find it terribly boring for some reason. It just doesn't seem right. It's harder for me to edit because I have to go back through it and edit all the titles, what we're doing, and all that stuff. So I figured I'll just start recording the audio too. So obviously, in, it, I can tell you that I record audio while playing. So. <laughs> As you saw there, quickly, just before I popped on here to start talking, I was looking in the menu here to see if there was any jobs to take. There are two. There's uh, two harvesting of wheat and a canola. And I think we're going to take those both. Uh, 18 and 10, was it? Or 18 and 20, where's 20 on the map? Uh, it's just north of that. Yeah, 18 is right on the west side, closer to the bottom. East side, not west side, sorry. West side? North side. North east. Yeah, west side. I set the map pretty close to the bottom and 20 is just up from that a bit. So which harvester should we take? I mean this one will cost a lot less, so we're gonna think we're gonna do both contracts with the same harvester and once we're done our wheat here we will head on down and help out. So I'm going to finish off this headland here, unload this into the trailer, well no, actually we don't have much room, so unload what we can, and then we'll just park it for now and get the bottom of the trailer as you probably saw, and we're going to swap that trailer out, and we'll get the other workers set up on the other, for the contract, on field 20, so yeah. That's going to be the plan for this episode. Probably swap out the round bailer for a square. I'm not quite sure which one we'll go for yet. I don't know if we're going to buy or lease. Don't know, see what the money's like. But, yeah. Okay. So that's us around. So load what we can into there. And we'll dump that into the silo. Won't dump a lot, but yeah, that's it. There we go. Let's go here. Let's uh, borrow items here. Yes, and we're going to accept this contract. There you go, so they both are... We got some herbicide spraying contracts to do as well. Whoa, 32 grand. That pays out well. Okay, so let's hop in the John Deere here. We're going to swap out some tractors yet. I mentioned that, and I mentioned it, but I wrote that on the time-lapse first one, the first episode there. We're going to swap with some tractors yet, but I was having some menu issues. But we will probably do that shortly. Because I'm just not a fan of the tractors we have. Well, I don't like mind them, but it would be nice to swap them out. Something a little bit different. So let's unload this here into the silo. Yeah, I think we have two of these. John Deere 6200 series and a fence over there. I'm not sure what model that was. Let's take a look here. I think the menu is working now. Yeah, we have a 6230. Yeah, two 6230s. 280 horse and a 714 Vario with 150 horse. So, yeah, I don't know what we're going to swap them out for yet. Those are all under medium. It's do, 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 this John Deere. Yeah, that's the one we have. We could go for this guy. Spec it out. It's a lot cheaper. But, I don't know. Could go for McCormick. I don't know. Anyways, let's see here. Where is the, I haven't been to the dealership yet. How do we get there? 
come on, safe, there we go. Okay, so we are here. Dealership is not up there. Where is it? Here, it looks like, right? No? Oh, this is another farm. <laughs> yeah. That's our farmhouse. What's this? Workshop. Unless it is up here. No, this is the general store. Um, where is the... What's this? No, this is factory, biogas plant. Hmm. Well, we should have machinery spawned at the store. So we should see that on the map here somewhere. Hmm. Well, I might just tab over to them. Aha, here it is. Right on the far edge of the map. Okay. So we need to come, we'll pass where we just were, right down the road. Okay. Let's hop in cab here, do a little bit of first person driving. And we're gonna leave this tractor down at the store for now. We're gonna get the other, whoa, 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 let's calm down a bit. I should really hook up my steering wheel and pedals again, have a bit more smooth steering going on. Cause right now it's very, Jittery. See, I was not planning on recording columns in uh, today. I was working on land series there, but then I had a game crash. So then I was like, oh, should I start that again? Well, I was gonna just quickly pop on here and do some on here instead. So yeah, it happened. The game crash was the store menu one where you go in and I was looking for a different tractor, what we we're gonna go for on that series as well. And then also just got that uh, loading circle and then it just crashed, so. That's what that was there. <clears throat> the menu issues I was having on here on the last episode was I could not open any of the submenus to go through any of the tr tractors, the implements, nothing. So, yeah. And that got sorted by just uh, turning off the console, oh, no, closing the game and restarting the game so sneak into here I guess this is where we would need to put this trailer to sell it wonder what we can get for that thirty thousand repaired for twelve and repaint it, I have found actually does value it more, so. 31,655, so that's not too bad. I mean, it's almost brand new. What does it cost new? Trailers, this guy, 36. Ah, we lost five grand on it. When we, we didn't buy it, we were giving it, so. Okay, so let's get this stuff all Um, loaded up and taken down to the field. I mean, 18 is... No, 20 is closer. I think it'd be a bit more out of the way to go down to 18 first. So, yeah. Move that. Well, we'll get this hooked up and we'll move the truck out of the way so we can load. The Whoa, no, 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 no. Shoot. Hooking onto that header. See if we can get into here. Go. Okay, let's get this out of the way. 
Alex, I'll get this all hooked up and I will see you down once we're pulling into the <coughs> field area with the fent. This is going to be a bit of wheeling back and forth around here, I'm thinking. Yeah, I figured I'll show you the drive over there. Hopefully none of these trees are too low because we are a big chunk of machinery coming through here. So let's see, what's, whoa, can we actually, where are we going here? Yeah, we have to go, we have to cut through right the middle of town. So yeah keep the map open because we're still very new to this area whoa, whoa let's calm down there what are my steering sensitivity sensitivity is on maybe I could just turn that down a bit so it's not quite so sharp might do that yet we'll see Watch out for this tractor here. So we're gonna wanna turn left here. Cause we need to go around, well, not down the drive over there obviously, but. Dog, what you doing? Come on. Get off the road. Good boy. Sheesh. You're gonna get run over. This is tight between here. Yikers. Oof. Well, made it through there. Opens up here again a bit. So I don't well, I don't know if there are collectibles on this map. I think there were. I, I'm sure. I was watching Mr. P the other day, and I'm sure he found one. And I think they're like the ones on Elm Creek where they're only a thousand dollars each. I guess there's a church here. I'm assuming. What does that say? Uh, in memoriam. Yeah, after that, I also heard music. All right, well, let's continue on. Now we have to take a look at what the route is going to have to be to get to field 18. But that'll probably be the next episode. Oh man, this is uh, <laughs> over here. Hopefully we can swing into the field, no problem. Oh, here we are approaching, it looks like. Uh, let's hop out. Oop. Um, oop. I mean, I guess we could get through here. Is there a gate somewhere? Don't see anything. Well, why don't we get into the drone here? I mean, I guess we could come through he this gate. That's really for field 22, I would think. If we go all the way around here. 
Oh, here's a nice open spot. Corner there. Yeah. So I'm going to go all the way up and around, it looks like. Oh. Actually, here. Yeah, okay, so just go down the end. I guess I would have seen that if I would have kept driving, but... Yeah, this field's not too big, so... I don't know how much, what kind of yield they're gonna, we're gonna get off of it. Hopefully we don't have to do too much carting. Oh, no. Yeah, that tree's a bit close to the road. Got to be more careful along here. I'm really liking the new locking script that we have for FS22. A 19 that header would have shot for it, I would think. Okay. Here we be. Swing this around. Alright, then detach that there. And we are going to not put a straw swath down because there's no point when we're not going to be able to pick it up anyways. Go. Okay, so how straight is this field? It looks not too bad. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm at the field. This is 73 and a half degrees. What are we doing here? We're dropping. We want to chop that. So, is 72 and a half the degree it would work, or what degree it works at? 67 and a half, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to let the worker continue on here. We might need to do some tidying up afterwards. Well, let's head on back there and we'll grab the semi. Now we know how to get there, it should be no problem. And it's a lot smaller of a vehicle too, so. Hopefully we can make this corner. Whoa, that's not turning very sharp. There we go. Hello, sir. All right. Let's book it over there. I'll cut out the drive because you just saw it. All right, here we are down at the field. Well, not quite there yet. We're just passing it by now. Running up to the end here. All right, so how full is he, I wonder? Oh, 67. Yeah, that's going to be pretty hands-on. So we'll get him unloaded, then we'll head on back to our field and we'll just uh, tab back here whenever we need to. So a load, not tab, I guess, but I don't have a PC of my PlayStation. So we'll just left or right on the D-pad until we get here. Yeah, eighty percent. I'll take over from him now. Yeah, we'll just stick him off along there, and he'll probably miss quite a bit going up the side there by the bushes and stuff. But once he's all, the worker's all done, we will come back and finish off. Do the more challenging bits that they can't figure out. Yeah, this is a very nice map, lots of detail. Personally, I like would like it a bit more open. It's a very tight map, but we'll see how long we go. Yeah. Crows on me.
but yeah. Okay, so we'll get this guy going here again. And there, okay. Here's our harvester. We want to. Yes, we want to go in this tractor. Well, should we think about upgrading this tractor right away or changing out this tractor? I mean, I think we could get more. We're going to always the John Deere's. Uh, and we can get more for the other one because it not, has not been used as much. So maybe we'll swap out the other one. We'll keep this John Deere. We'll swap out the other one because we can get an extra five grand for it. So we definitely should be able to put a lot more wheat in this guy, or grain, any kind of grain product, whatever we want to haul. Because that last one, we could not put a lot in there. Which is a little bit frustrating. Like we couldn't eat, we could barely, we couldn't even unload our combine twice into it. So uh, it just tells you it's a little bit too small of a trailer. Should be able to get two or three loads for sure into your trailer. Otherwise, you might as well just drive there with a combine. I mean, that's probably a bit excessive, but yeah. A good size would be two to three loads, four loads. Very nice, but yeah. Anywho, I'm going to quit rambling. We're going to stick this on a time lapse. And I will see you once you're a bit further on in the field. Well, once we get there unloaded, we'll start the time lapse, obviously, but. Whoa, here we are. Whoa. Whew, just made that corner. <laughs> Whew. All right. Oh, yeah, this is a much better size. There we go. Okay, so hop in here, get this guy on all the way unloaded. And we will take off down the field. Okay, so we are back. 
I did just a little bit off screen there. I went and took the first load of wheat from this field off to the cell point where they wanted this wheat sold. Also emptied our combine again on our field. I had to pause to, uh, I was recording yesterday, yeah, yesterday morning before going to work. And I had to go to work, so I had to pause recording. And now it's in the evening, so a little bit of a break. Anywho, oh, I wanted to empty this before I started going again. And also, you probably saw in there that we have trailer filament on, and I'm going to go and turn that off. It's nice and all, except it's just, I find it quite an annoying. Cause there's no way that, like this semi-trailer, we had 51% It's just crazy how little you could actually put in there. There's no way that was overweight already. It's just kind of unreal. I wish the trailer filament would have something more to do with um, the wear and tear on your vehicle. Like you, like yes, there's a max weight that would be ideal, but you can overload it, and it would just increase the wear and tear on your vehicle or trailer in this case. And I guess it would be on the excuse me on the trailer. The, the tractor or truck that is pulling it as well but it's not it's just weight wise and it's the weight wise seems a little bit off if you ask me but anyway I'm gonna get this guy going on its own again with a worker and I will head over back to our field and get her done Yeah, so judging how long this is taking this field and our field, I'll most likely end this episode as we are finishing the harvest on both of them. And I will do field 18 off camera. Oh, it's doing that again. Uh, if you are watching my No Man's Land series, the my controllers um, uh, reverse L2 or left yeah, LT, L2 button sometimes sticks and it does not want to um, use cruise, cruise control at all so we are, I'm going to go, be right back I'm going to reset my controller and it should hopefully all be fixed after that alright so I'm back reset the controller and it's fixed. Good to see. Yeah, in this trailer we can also only get about 50%. It just Helper E has completed their task. Really? There was lots to do yet. And I don't have to drive, I just have to hit higher worker again. Uh, interesting. Anywho, let's stop him here. Oh, I shut him off. I want to start the harvester. <laughs> yes, looks like we have just one more pass here to do. And we should be done here. And over into the fence. Contract off. We won't finish it because we want that harvester for doing the contract on field 18. So we won't return it. We'll just get it 200%. And then I think we will, maybe we'll just sell the rest of the wheat on that contract. We're bringing it to Farm Store 2, which is the best price by $1 per thousand. So yeah, we'll probably just sell the rest of the contract wheat, just get, get a little bit of a cash boost into our bank account. And looks like we'll have just over one pass here, actually. Guess that end is cut down at a bit of an angle. So yeah, next episode we'll probably be baling and moving these bales up for a square baler. Just because they're nicer for stacking, unless we go with a round baler, because we have one with an auto stacker.
because the auto stacker for square is a lot smaller than the one for round. So actually might be better off doing round. The only thing is with round you have to stop more often because you have to stop where every bell unloads and square just continues on. Yes, yeah, so maybe we, the first time around we might do round the biggest round bales as possible because they most likely we will all be sold any. Just see how we like that. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of start and stopping with this because it's a two fairly big fields with straw on them. Yeah, next time we'll be possibly having some contrast going in the background and doing the baling and bale moving on our fields here and possibly moving into doing some field work with the plow and stuff like that. Because if we go here, look at our soil composition, they will both be plowing, I'm assuming. If the map loads. Yeah, plowing, you need lime. Goodness, the map takes forever to load. Yes, they will all need lime. Yeah, so I'm thinking that's going to be the job for this year, plowing and liming everything, because... Oh, shoot. Well, let's just continue on here. Yeah. Well, probably... Because we're going to be plowing, we're going to be pulling up stones as well. We'll most likely put in the lime production facility. Not a stone crusher. So you can make your own lime. And let's just get this guy parked up here. Oh, he's getting half tank, just over half tank of fuel he left. Let's hop back over to the fence because he's almost full. Let's see if we can get him unloaded on the move. Really? Says he's completed. But I know you're not. Let's hop back in this guy. So you just have to hit high worker again and he goes. don't know why he keeps saying he's done when we both know that he's not. Go. Uh, let's move this guy ahead. Some more weight in at the back. There you go, it should be just about empty, I'm thinking. Or is he empty already? Oh yeah, he's definitely slowed down with the unload. Yeah, let's we'll come back and tidy up some of the stuff at the end here, but... Okay. Yeah, we should be able to get the rest of our field into our trailer. We're going to keep our wheat for now. We can hold on to it until we get a better price. I'm not sure when the wheat price tops out. We are in August now. So January, February time looks like it's top. So, so hold on to it for about four months, five months, something like that. I love the new animation coming out of here. 
I mean, I wish it was a bit more swath-like when it came out. Because it still looks a little bit like it's throwing it and it wouldn't land quite the way it is showing like it lands. But it's still way better than 19, so... The so rain is on its way. I'm seeing that at the top there. When is it supposed to be on uh, here? Weather. Just a sprinkle at seven o'clock tonight, so we got four four hours before it rains here. Should be able to get. Possibly the bailing, well for sure the harvesting on field 18 there for the next contract. And possibly get our bailing done. I mean we can bail in the rain, it's not ideal, but... Hopefully he has completed their task again. There you go, just starting them up again. Why is... I hate him. I didn't turn the engine off on this guy. I guess the field is too far apart. So it thinks that we're too far away for the motor to keep running, or engine, whatever. So. Oh well. There we go. Got this last little bit that we were missing off here. Won't be a whole lot, but every liter of wheat helps. Unless we're going to go down the chicken route, then we'll probably keep the, all of our wheat or barley, one of the two. Well, we got way more barley than wheat, I think, so we may keep the barley unless it's worth more, but yeah. Of the feed that is, oh, that is not working well. Yep. All gonna fit in the trailer? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's just leave this guy right here for actually, we'll bring it back to the trailer. Yeah, we'll just stay right here because we're gonna take this over to field 18 yet, too. Pop in here, let's bring this back to our silo and we'll see how many liters of wheat we got off this field. Well, if anybody's playing this map, you should know already because everyone has the same crop. Oh, that's annoying. No, and this time you didn't even turn around. Oh, he did, but he's on the opposite side or something. I don't know. There we go. He's on his way again. Oh, the, tra the tractor stayed running. Yeah, this is going to be one thing I'm going to have to get used to playing on this map, is the very, very narrow roads. I'm not used to that at all. It's a very tight area to be working in, so... Need to get used to. So we'll just leave this... Oh, he needs a... Tractor needs to be running to unload, okay.
Looks like we're supposed to be getting a lot of snow this winter. December, January, February, and March all have snow showing. Ooh, it looks like it's going to be a wet fall and winter. Alright, so let's see here. We have we got 93,793 liters of barley off our field there. And 57? Yep, 57,165 liters of wheat. So that's pretty good. I'm going to leave that guy right here for now. Doesn't really matter. Hop into the harvester here, the Fent. We'll take over from him. Because he's just getting quite confused anyways. Go. Get him unloaded here and then we should have enough space in the tank to finish the field out thinking it was, oh, it was a little bit there but that should definitely all fit just have a short little time lapse here here at the end just to get her done and i will see you at the end of this section done now we just have that one little piece yet on that other side that was not straight in line so we also empty because we're 85 percent full and i don't think it would have room for the other side filled up a lot quicker than i was actually expecting it to so which is good and bad down on this end. I really don't know how wide this strip is actually. I'm tempted to try using the workers on this map for driving to a destination see if they actually work. I have this strange feeling that they won't. It is a very tight map. But might be worth a shot, see if they can navigate it. I have a very strong feeling that they won't. Won't be able to though. I don't know if anybody else has ever tr has tried that yet. Well, I'm pretty sure someone has because with all the many people who play this game, I'm sure someone has been bound to have tried that already. Now I'm just saying, what would be the best way to get to field 18? Is there a track on top of 19? I'm thinking there should be. Yeah, take a look at that yet. Yeah. Let's do it now while we're combining. So if we come up here, ooh. I mean, we could just sneak along the edge there, possibly. I mean, you would have to cut through the hedge, but where's the entrance to field 18 here? Oh, wow down here so yeah whoops yeah it's gonna be interesting one I hate to go all the way around me we'll just see if we can cut across there if we can I don't know what the the hedge collisions are like no we'll just drive around boss probably
This is going to be another pretty full tank load, actually. 50%? 60%? It's going to be up there. I'm going to get in one pass, so yeah, easy. Well, I wouldn't say easy, that's like the full header width. There we go. That's this field all fu finished. So what's the contract percentage sitting at? 93. I mean, because we have already delivered a partial load. Oh, sorry, now we have, I forgot about that. We have these triangles here yet. That the worker could not manage to do for some reason. Even more now. There we go. Now we're done. Will all this fit in the trailer? I hope so. Oh, I think it will. Oh yeah, easy. All right, let's get this all, I'll take the wheat down to the store after the combine down over to the next field. We probably will not, I won't start the harvest in this episode. I'll do that fully off screen. But we'll end the episode off by finishing this contract off and selling the remainder of the wheat. Uh, there we go. I try to put the header quite far back on the trailer. Just so we have room for the hitch to go under the harvester and it won't swing out and hit the header off. So yeah, let's fly up here again. We're gonna go down this road till we find Yeah. This uh ooh a track we could use. Yeah, that is fuel lead. So we just need to come down that our road till we come to this first track. So it's not too far around. I was afraid we're gonna have to come like all the way back to our farm before we could ever get back find a road to that. Oh, what am I hitting? Branches are right down the ground here. Definitely a very, uh, <laughs> very small track. Big equipment that they gave us to use. Looks like we're coming up to it soon here. Where is 
missed it. Whoa, dear, whoa! Wait, wait, do we have to... Yep, we need to go in this gate. That's a tight swing. <sighs> Whoa. Might need some third person for this one. I don't know about this. the track yeesh that's a bit of a small gate go right against that post Attach that so we can get the harvester pulling at a bit of a better angle. That's rubbing right along there. Well, I made it through, not the prettiest way to get through there, but kind of slid along the post. We always have a bit of a, uh, a double gate there. But since there's such huge fields here, I don't know why you have such a, such a tiny gate. But But anyways, here we are. over here go We're driving that crop here a little bit Shut this all down. And we will head on down to that our cell point. I will skip the journey because we are probably running a little bit long already, seeing how harvesting took a bit longer than I expected. So yeah, I'll see you down there. Alright, all the way across the map. Oh shoot. Don't want to go to the store, we want to go to the back. This is definitely a bit heavy for this truck. It really struggles up some of those hills. I was slowed down for a corner one and then I kind of stopped. And I really do not like the hill. Hard, it was hard to get it going again. Alright. How much are we going to sell for us? There we go. We are going to make an extra 26 grand on that contract. Nice. 
Okay, so that is going to do it for this episode. I'm going to get that other canola harvest done off screen. Next episode, we will be done with harvest. Unless more harvesting contracts come up, we might tackle those. But I kind of doubt it. Next episode, we'll be baling and different field work. Plowing and liming, maybe. But anyways, I will see you in the next one. Later.